Hello all my DIY remodeler friends out on the internet. Welcome back to the channel and today we have a great video for you. You're looking at a new kitchen that we just got finished remodeling and uh, what sometimes happens is you're left with a sink here that has two sinks as part of it, okay, two basins, but now the question that pops up is how do you handle the drainage for those two when there was only one pipe before underneath. So today we're going to show you how to drain two sinks and how to connect them up to the drain pipe that goes into the wall. Let's get started. Okay, so just to get you up to speed, we're showing you a picture here. This is what the kitchen looked like before. It was this ugly yellow formica that went straight out flat and it had this big old white kind of a, like a ceramic coated or maybe porcelain coated single sink. And we've replaced all that. We redid the whole ceiling, the cabinets, everything as you can see here and replaced it with this double sink here so now when you look underneath at what we had before we still have the original pipe that was coming out that leads to the drain that goes down to the sewer there okay so we have that and then you have this sink on the left here which is going to need a down pipe and it's going to need to connect into there and also at the same time this output here from the bottom of the garbage disposal will will need to drain in there as well so there's certain considerations that we need to take into account when we do something like this and so we're going to go through all of that with you and show you exactly how to do this properly so that both sinks will drain well guess what it's chalkboard thursday Hey, so I wanted to show you, uh, here's a couple of methods that I normally see people do, and I don't agree all always with some of the, the ways people do things. So let's say you have the sink on the left, sink on the right, and your drains in the middle. And what you see a lot, very common, is this. You'll see a, put a down pipe there, a down pipe there, and you get this cross pipe that kind of connects like like that. And this is what they show you on the packages a lot in some of the stores, and I'm like, well, I don't agree with that because what's supposed to happen is if there's water in this side it'll drain down and then go into the to the uh, the waste pipe that goes into the wall there and then this side too would do the same thing but I don't like the fact that you have water that's here that can go rushing this way and likewise water coming down here can go rushing that way and it could cause a collision and maybe you lose the effectiveness of your your ability to drain fast you know I, I just never really liked that idea. So anyway, if you're a professional plumber with a lot of years experience, hey, chime in and let us know down in the comments below. Let us know whether you like this method here. Um, I, I don't like it. I don't think you should implement it that way. I, I just don't think it's any good. You can't have any good come out of it. And what if you have two sinks trying to empty at once? You know, like if one of them was full of dishwater and then the other one's got the, the faucet running at full blast, you open this guy up, now you're going to have a huge deluge of water coming down. And then you're going to um, have this one just streaming water in. And what's going to happen? Who's going to win? I don't know. I don't like that idea at all. Okay, so the other idea that, that, that some people do, and, um, well, this is the, the one I want to do here. So we have our two sinks here. And what we want to do is the line that comes down like this and the line that comes down like this, is going to go into a Y. We call this a Y, and I'll show you the Y in a minute. But it basically looks like this, see? And this connects into the wall, into the, to, to the waste pipe coming out of the wall. So what happens is the water comes in there, and the water comes in there. Okay, so here's our one and a half inch Y that we're going to use here, so that each one gets its own entry into the part here. This is going to connect up to the wall pipe that comes out of the wall there and as you can see back in there it's pretty hard for the water to turn around and go back into the other because you do want to make sure that the water entering both of these two here on the front doesn't doesn't try to come back in through the other side that would be bad
Okay, so now we're testing it, and with the water coming down, down the uh, drain there, uh, we're going to test this path here, and you just want to make sure you feel around, make sure there's no water leaking around here, or here, or around here where it screws into the Y. You get to check all of that spot there. And then I always reach way in the back and check where it's cemented onto the waste pipe there, see? Get to check all of that. Okay. And then likewise, when we check the left side sink, you want to go ahead and check all of these components here as well. And check up here where it attaches to the bottom of the drain. You get to check all of that. And then as a final test, what we'll do is we will fill this whole side up with water here, let it get all full, and then we'll turn on the sink, the faucet here, and let it run down the left side. So while the left side is draining, we'll pull the plug on here, and we'll see how the water does and, and how well it drains, because you want to make sure that they're both draining at the same time. You want to make sure that they can both empty their water out into that Y uh, without any problems. And again, let me just point out to you that, remember, since this is horizontal here, you cannot use a sanity. The code prevents it. A sanity is only to be used in a vertical uh, plane, if, there was, if the water was coming straight down. And um, you want to be able to make sure you can get a snake in there if you had to snake out, you know. So if they ever had to snake this drain line out, it'd be pretty easy, because all you got to do is take off this P-trap right here, and unscrew this part of the, the uh, pipe here and just stick your snake straight back in there. Now as a final step here, I usually put down paper towels like this and then uh, test both sides again and make sure that there's no water dripping. The paper towels will show it immediately if there's even a single drop. And I'll, you'll leave it like that for a day or two under normal usage and just see how it does because, you know, I've seen cases in the past where you have waters just sitting in the trap right here, and it can leach out through here, through the, that point there. So that's something to keep in mind there. We just have to hook up the, uh, the dishwasher now. All right, so here we have the trap arm. So remember, we're putting in the transparent P-trap now. And so I've already got it sized to fit in here, right? So what you do first is you gotta put on the first nut, and you gotta put it in with the threads facing down like that because it's going to come down and tighten down to the bottom of the, the trap here. See, it's going to meet up to this piece. So that goes on first. And then, remember, this is going to mate onto the wall over there. So this nut now comes on second. And this is the part everybody forgets, and this is what causes a leak over here at this part. They forget to put this gasket on. And they sometimes they get the direction wrong. You have to put it on so that it, the flat part of the washer is facing the nut, see, like that. And the reason why it's angled is because the piece that it connects into in here is angled, and this is what fits the watertight seal, it makes it nice and tight in there. So that when you screw this onto that pipe, it snugs everything together and it pinches against this washer here. So that's why that needs to be there. And this doesn't need a washer because they sort of have it uh, their gasket is, is this right here. It's the shape of the plastic as it connects into the other plastic. Right? So now while we're here, before we connect it up, I'm going to see if we can get this screwed in together before we... Uh... All right, so now we're going to join these two together. Now you can see how it's important to have this thing perfect, like absolutely perfect. Because if this is off, like let's say the alignment's off, see how this, the water can slip out right there. Because this joint is going to be underwater, as I mentioned before. So we have to make sure that that's really perfect there. We're gonna just loosely tighten them together for now. And once we get the whole thing together, we'll do a final tighten on it. Tighten this one first and he's satisfied. Now we're going to tighten these other two. So these two have the, the rubber gaskets on them, those washers. And so they'll tighten up pretty good on their own, um, pretty easily. Just do about a quarter of a turn, like that. And if it'll let us in that way. 
or if we have to come in from the bottom. Okay, so those are in nice and tight. So now we're ready to turn on the water. Okay, so there I've let the water run for a few minutes. Now it's coming through, it's all hot water at this point. And as we look up top here, there's no moisture around the drain, which is a good sign. That means we sealed it up nice. And we've solved the link up here at the kitchen drain. But our testing is not done yet. All right, so now that we know that at least with the water running in it, we're doing okay. What I want to do now is fill up the sink with water and let the whole thing go. That's another good test to do here for your leaks. Okay, so our basin is filled with hot water. And now we're going to let it all go. Just watch it rush through there, through the P-trap. And there we go. So it's all done. So now after a little bit, you'll see some of the water settle back here. See how it's the little air bubble up top there is growing? It's setting the, the level of the weir. So the weir is what we call this top level of the water here. Now in this particular case, we would actually like to see it a little lower. And the reason why it's not, uh, this should be up higher, but there's really not much you can do right here because of the way the plumbing was uh, done here. The pipe comes out horizontal from the wall. You really should have a little bit of a decline down towards the wall. Not a lot, only a quarter of an inch um, per 12 inches. So, but you can at least see it. You can at least get the air behind water. So you can see now here, from looking at this, you can see why you sometimes will have water leaking out of this nut because this whole column right here is underwater. This column right here from the weir to the upper dipper, the upper dip right here. So from this column right here is what protects you from all the methane gases coming in from the sewer system, from the drain. The gases are right up to this point right here and then the water stops it. This column of water is what stops it. So sometimes when you winterize your house and you leave and this evaporates and that's why you can smell sewer gases when you come back if that evaporates and you just fill it right back up with water again by running the water for a few seconds here. But so you can see the water level is like probably right around in here up to here, right? So anyway, there's no drips, but we're not quite out of the woods yet and I'll show you why. Okay, so this is the level of the weir right here. Now, in my opinion, that's up a little bit high. It's not that far off. And ideally, it's supposed to end at the bottom of the uh, crown here. So right, right on the tr bottom part of that, that um, trap arm. That's where the level really should be, <clears throat> if you want to be absolutely ideal. Because when you're looking at the weir, which is the top level of the water here, you should be able to look down the drain, right down the drain, and look straight into the middle of the vent. If this can't see air, then this would all be filled with water, and you'll have a, a like a vacuum. And that's what, what, what creates what we call a siphon. And it can actually cause the water in your P-trap here to disappear. It'll just go... It'll suck right out and down the drain there if there's no air behind water. Now here we have it, so we're okay. We've got a little bit. It's not as perfect as I want it to be, but it does work. And we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up below. That tells us that you like us. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and click on the bell icon. That will tell you every time we get a video uploaded. And we hope you enjoyed this one, and we will see you next time.